Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then that brother, a stolen vehicle. I said also to myself, not all that glitters is gold, though. Eh? Not all that glitters is gold. There will be nobody. What FCC had carried him away? FC will not visit our houses in the name of Jesus. You didn't say proper amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember also <laughs> as we when we went for there with God of Daddy Jew two years ago, there were such awesome testimonies. Men who had bought cars. And Daddy said, These are this was Daddy, not me, not not me. He said, I listened to these big testimonies, big cars. Said, but you can do better than secondhand cars. <laughs> So the next testimony is the sets we'll hear soon are brand new cars. Brand new cars. I see cars, when I go, I see the car dealers. Brand new cars. I said, people must be buying them. And why they bring them? People must be buying them. It's your turn, oh. <laughs> Tell me it's my turn, too. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Only good news shall we hear. From my tabernacle in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, God gave me a brand new network. Mm. It's not MTN. How many of us have MTN? MTN? All of you, I don't have MTN. How many of us have MTN? How many of us have Glow? What about the other one? Airtel. Then which one again? Nine mobile. Huh? Nine mobile. Nine mobile. Oh, okay. I don't know that one. Me, I have a new one. Oh, I want to sell it to you. <laughs> Calm down, sir. He's asking me what's the name. <laughs> I will tell you now. The name is Good News. Praise the name of the Lord. Good news is my new network. And it's for free. Oh. The only price you pay is faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What kind of thing do you get from this, my network or you can call it good expectations some of the things i got when i switched on this morning was my heart is indicting a good thing a good thing psalm 45 verse 1 then i switched to another it's got different um i press different buttons as i pressed another another set of letters or numbers. I got a voice and it's from Isaiah 50 verse 4. Isaiah 50 verse 4. And I heard he awakes me morning by morning. He wakes my ears to hear as the learned. I said, ah, that's good news channel. Oh. Praise the name of the Lord. Then I heard again from my own network. I had switched off from um, MTN and um, Airtel. I heard Psalm 3 verse 5. I laid down and slept. I awake. I awake. I said, oh, that's good news. I'm awake. And I'm on my bed. Not in the hospital. Ah, not under emergency care not in the ambulance because the lord sustained me i said it's a good it's a good network how many of us like that network good news that means morning by morning i wake up i shall hear no evil reports and what i did i disconnected from airtel i said from today 24 7 my network is good news. Each morning I wake, good news. I wake up in the night, middle of the night, good news I shall hear. And that network doesn't fail. 
Do you know what? As I now turned on my phone, early, early, later, much later in the morning, somebody just sent me a picture, 10 years, about 10 years old, when, they, <laughs> when I got a car too, a brand new car, and with my picture receiving it, I said, wow, that's the kind of picture I want to get every morning. Remembrance of good things coming back to life. If you want to tune all in and you want to subscribe to this network, rise to your feet. Just rise and start to declare good things over your life. I will never, never connect to the channel of sorrow. I disconnect from the network of bad news from far, from near. I cut myself off from that flow of connection to the dead, uh-huh, to the dead. Those who have died, I have no connection with them, to the spirit of necromancy. There's no space, that network doesn't have, does not function on my network of good news. My good news tells me that with long life God shall satisfy me. It's a good day for me, it's a good week for me. It's a network of life in the land of the living amongst the living. I shall fill the number of my days. I lay down my head and I woke up, the Lord sustained me. He shall continue to sustain me. I shall hide good news from my seed and their seed and their families. Only good news shall be my tabernacle. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My expectation shall not be cut off because I'm connected to the network of good news and good expectations. The vision of the righteous shall not be cut off. I received that this morning also from my network because Jesus died. He shed his blood. I have a hope and expectation that can never die. Expression of life, length of days. Hallelujah. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, that network is good. Why do I say so? Even this morning, one of the children now sent me a clip of a woman, 108 years old. <laughs> and the child, who is 80, calls her mommy. And my daughter said, Mom, we are told you now, you are still very young. Look at that woman. She's 18. Yes, I'm calling her mother, mommy, mommy. I said, that's good news. That's my network is good. Oh. It's called good news, good expectations. And because I received it, it was not cut short. One daughter somewhere sent a confirmation to me. Can you lift up your hand and give thanks to God? God does not disappoint the expectation of the righteous. Hallelujah, give him thanks. Hallelujah, give him thanks for life. Oh, when we go to bed, we wake up. And when we leave home to say we're coming to church, we arrive in church. Ah, our journeys were not cut short and they're not cut short. My journey and yours were not diverted to the hospital on our way here. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. My expectation is alive as a child of God. Ah, thank you, Lord. Receive our thanks, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked the Lord. Amen. He is able, more than able, to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able, more than able, to have.
thank you. We exalt you. We magnify you. It's all about you. Nobody else can do what you do. We acknowledge your majesty. Father, accept our thanks and our praises and our worship. You are the one behind all the testimonies. Father, we say thank you. Be glorified. Father, we come briefly right now to share your word. Father, speak to us and speak with us. Touch us, O oh Lord, in a new way. Save all that need to be saved. Heal all that needs to be, to be healed. Deliver the oppressed and set all of us free from captivity. And just let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. You may please be seated. Thank you, choir. Can you hear me? I think I need a bit of more volume. We want to share quickly on what we've called living expectations. Living expectations. So what do we mean by expectations? We're not going to theology because God is simple. When Jesus was on earth, he spoke to those who went to school, those who didn't go to school, and they understood him. When we talk about expectations, we're talking about hope. What I'm looking forward to, that's what it is. You can say hope. What I want to see happen or come or become real. I want to see it for real i know what what you see is what you get what you see is what you get it's in genesis chapter 13 14 to 15 and 17 genesis 13 14 to 15 and 17 the lord told abraham spoke to abraham after lot was separated from him he said lift up your eyes now that there's a separation Look northward, as far as you can see, and westward, all that land that you see. What are you seeing this morning, church? What are you seeing? Are you seeing yourself? As the enemy is seeing you, <laughs> like we said, during, are you seeing yourself talking to the dead? Mm -mm, no. He said, what you see, I give it to you and my seed your seed forever that means you may not even have a seed now but god says you give it as you can see your seed inheriting the good thing that's good news for you this morning so it's not what physically is done is what you see he said to even convince you walk take a prophetic walk walk through the land that you see and therefore i have given you when you see a pregnant woman, you say she's expectant. She's expecting. Am I correct? Has she seen the child? No. Thank God for scan machines. They help a bit. They can see a shape and sometimes they make mistakes. They can say it's a boy. They see the testicles. The, girl, the child can come as a girl. It can be the other way around. Even the scan machines are limited. 
But the woman knows that she's expecting. She knows. You don't need to tell her. She knows she's not carrying five broad. So whatever the doctor say you are carrying that's not of God, five broad though, or cancer, we curse it to the root in Jesus' name. Women say my womb was not created for cancer. It was not created for five broad. It was not created for surgery in the name of Jesus. And what you speak is what you get. That's God, what God says. So speak it well today. If you don't speak it well, Satan will speak it well to fill that void. I'm not going to encourage us to speak, oh, because we are created to use our mouth, not just to eat, but to speak what we want. Praise the name of the Lord. And because the pregnant woman knows she's expecting, she knows it's not a rat inside her, <laughs> so she's not expecting a rat to come out on the day of delivery. She's not expecting a cat. He's not expecting a what again? Um, a cow. <laughs> no. She's expecting a baby. You shall deliver. You shall deliver your child. You shall deliver your inheritance. It shall come unto your hands in the name of Jesus. It shall not be stolen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning we are talking about, just to remind us, living expectations we take our scripture from proverbs 23 18. proverbs 23 18 for surely there's an end and that expectation shall not be cut off that means you shall be alive we shared with the workers this morning you can't have beyond expectation if you don't have an expectation we all are shouting them beyond expectation but you need to have an expectation then God will do beyond your expectation. But like we asked some weeks ago, why are you even in church? What's your expectation? Do you even know why you are? Or oh, we need to give, if we said now, okay, um, write down your prayer. What do you want now? Some of us will still think. What's up most in your mind? Some of us will still take 30 seconds to think. You must have an expectation. Then God will do exceeding abundantly. So what's your expectation? Each time you come to church, have an expectation. You are dropping some things as you come. And you are going home with some things. Yes, that should be your expectation. That should be specific. Not just on Sunday. When we, expect, we have an expectation, we come to church early. We'll come early. Because know that as soon as you step here, something is happening to that expectation. I came here this morning for a workers meeting. I got here on time. But before I even came, somebody was already at the altar praying before I came. She had an expectation that must be dealt with. She was not coming to meet the third time of resumption. She was coming because she has an expectation. The New Living Translation says, Proverbs 23, 18, NLT. You will be rewarded for this. What you've been going through, what you want, your hope will not be disappointed. You didn't say amen well. Yeah. What kind of women are these? You didn't say amen well. Yeah. What kind of men are these? You didn't say proper amen. Yeah. Your hope shall not be disappointed. Yeah. Amen. Please praise the Lord. Please sit down. Please be seated. Therefore, do not give up. Refuse to allow your inheritance, good inheritance, expectations to disappear. What you are waiting for, that good thing, in spite of your age, in spite of time, in spite of your limited and my limited knowledge, in spite of what you have been told, don't allow that good thing to disappear. Because the word of God says shall not be cut off. Habakkuk 2, verse 3. Habakkuk 2, verse 3. The vision is for a future time. It describes the end. It will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it. It will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Someone say, it will not be delayed. Therefore, it shall what? It shall come. Amen. Thank you. 
Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You may not see it yet, but it's there already in the eyes of God. Yes, it's there. So we need to be convinced about God himself to start with. Expectation is divine, is of God. It's not of man. Therefore, you need to keep on, and I need to keep on reminding myself, I know, I know, I know. Somebody say, I know. I know. Say it again. Say it again. What do you know? Is in 2 Timothy 1, 12. I'll answer for you. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. Not NLT. Let's, use, let's look at the K, KJV now. Mm. For the for the for the which cause I also suffer these things, delay disappointment. Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed, I'm not discouraged. Age may seem to be against me, time may be. They may call me different kind of names. I'm not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed. Someone say, I know whom I have believed. I can't hear you, sir. And I'm persuaded, say it again, that he's able to keep that which I commit into his hands against that day, that day of fulfillment, and it shall come to pass. Because I believe in the name of Jesus. And because I believe, I will, that's why, that's the power of testimonies. Because I believe. I will support my belief with great faith from testimonies, from prophetic actions. I remember my former PA too, like Godwin said, he's a, she's a common name now, Shade. <laughs> Hallelujah. For 12 years, after she she no pregnancy, no nothing. The only time she was pregnant when she was living in England. When she now went, she was pregnant, they checked everything, the pregnancy, she went for antenatal. The doctor said, who told you you are pregnant? He said, look at your books. Your colleague told me, they put her in a room, they call it the dark room. You will not enter the dark room in Jesus' name. Say so it's that room that they break news that are not positive. They told her what she had was missed abortion. The thing was there, but has disappeared, has melted. That will not be your story in Jesus' name. That's why morning by morning, must say, I my ears in that a good thing. You must speak it before they come and speak it to you in this, from the kingdom of darkness. You must hear the good thing before people start talking to you and you are looking at your text message. You must tune in first to the network of good news. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's why they told her, Mr. Abortion, no, oh, yeah, you were pregnant before, but, 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 and all that. For 12 years, nothing. She came back to Nigeria. But she said, in Nigeria, she used to do prophetic things. She used to buy chocolates, put it in her fridge for the children of her friends that used to come. Of course, her friends had um, children. So each time they came, there, was, there were chocolates. And she didn't have. There were sweets. Not that they're good for children, but she had them. Until when she even got pregnant, she did not know. I've shared that story before. She was telling me, her pastor, and her, her back was aching her. It's something she didn't understand. She lifted up her dress. I said, I don't understand. And her stomach, we called it fibroid. In the end, the womb had moved to the back. She was carrying the baby at the back. Only to discover that she was even carrying twins. That's another story. Some of us have heard it. But she was taking prophetic actions by faith. That's as I'm sowing this seed for children, so too shall I have my own children. And it came to pass. It came to pass. It came to pass such a way that even her very good friend, when she had said, Shadi, I don't believe it. Those are friends for you. Said, I don't believe. We heard that you he delivered twins. One looks like you. One looks like your husband. But we don't believe her very good friend that she was in the world with when she, her friend was delivering. Your belief 
Our belief will not make us mad in Jesus' name. I'm not saying that's why it happened to her, but her friend who didn't believe, she, she had stroke. You will not have stroke in Jesus' name. It was her friend's brother-in-law that came to this young leader and said, please forgive her. She's not very spiritual. But me, I'm a pastor. That's her brother, the, friend, the brother-in-law of that year. Other that. Anything can happen with God in an unusual way. Doesn't matter whether your friend believes or not. I know the Lord that I have believed. He is more than able. Praise the name of the Lord. Hmm. Do prophetic things, support by faith. I shared before, there was a woman, a doctor, and she had children, and her husband was not helping her for the housework. They're living abroad. She'll come back from her runs in the hospital, do the house clean. The husband will sit down, be watching TV, you know, and she was tired. Then one day, she drew her family as she wanted her family to be. She drew herself as a woman, round head, stick here, hand, 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 leg, dress, sitting down or standing, her children, and she drew her husband carrying a broom. Not the broom that we use, or the long one. So that's the family I want. I want my husband to be helping me to sweep. He came to pass. So one day the man just came and said, ah, ah, you're a doctor. You go for, you know, world run and everything. Then you come back. I need to be helping you. What you see is what you get. <laughs> what you see is what, what you speak is what you get. I know the Lord I have believed. He can do it anyhow. Your expression shall not be cut off. Mine shall not be cut off. In the name of Jesus. But you can't turn your husband into a mumu. You can't turn him into a zombie. God has to support you. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Lay your hands on your head prophetically. On your heart, wherever. And declare in the name of Jesus. I speak and I declare. I decree to all the organs in my body. You function the way God made you to function. In the name of Jesus. I decree. There's no abnormality in my system, in the name of Jesus Christ. My system is not for surgery, it's not to be caught like a cow. In the name of Jesus, I decree divine healing, health to myself. My womb was all designed for five broad. In the name of Jesus, whatever is called cancer of the prostate, I declare is a stranger to me. In the name of Jesus, Therefore, every stranger in my system, in my body, in my seed, my seed yet unborn, no matter how far behind those things are, I declare them strangers right now, untimely death, sorrow, pain, confusion, medical confusion, strange diseases in my system. I decree to you, you fade away now by the power in the blood of Jesus. It doesn't matter. Where, so, where, where your source is, no matter how far behind you have been coming, I decree from today you are a stranger and therefore you fade away at the sound of my voice. So it is and so it shall remain forever. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I shall live to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living, amongst the living. My heart will not fail me. The Lord is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I have declared it with my mouth. I believe it. Therefore, it is so. And I give thanks in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Living expectations. That's how you keep your expectations alive. It's not by quoting beyond expectation. It's good to quote it, too, but you have to keep it alive. You must have expectations. Don't forget and then God will do beyond your expectations. Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2, verse 1 to 4. <clears throat> I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see. Watch. Watch to see. That's good. What he will say to me. But when you are watching, you are seeing. But he is saying here, I'll see what he will say to me. 
So watching and hearing and seeing, they go together. And what I shall answer when I am reproved? Because my eyes are expecting a good thing. My ears are expecting. The Lord says to say to somebody, the Lord answered me because I'm on the high tower. I'm looking out like the father of the prodigal son. The son had gone far away. The father said he may have gone away far, but I'm expecting him back. Things that have been stolen from you, your joy might have been stolen. Things that belong to might have been hijacked. That child might have gone far away. That job might have been given to somebody else. But because you're expectant and you're on your watch, that contract, you shall see it come to pass by the power and the name and the mercy of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Then the Lord said to me, mm. Write the vision. Make it plain upon tables that he may run, that readeth he run with your expectations. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. There's a time, there's an expectation. But at the end of it, he shall speak, he shall not lie. Though he tarry, wait for it, because he shall surely come. You will not die. I will not die. In the name of Jesus. The just shall live by his faith. The new, the new NLT version says, hmm, verse 3, Habakkuk 2, verse 3, this vision is for a future time. Future means one minute, it may mean one hour, may mean one day, may mean one, one month, maybe one year. But still a future may mean as long as we leave this service. The vision is for a future time. It describes the end. That's the expectation. The future is the expectation. It will be fulfilled. I won't say anything again, no. It shall be fulfilled. It seems slow in coming, that husband, that wife. Wait patiently, for it, should, it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Those are the words that keep expectations alive. It will surely take place. And it can be in a twinkle of an eye. It doesn't have to be in the same way that that one took place. Twinkle of an eye. Are you convinced? Are you convinced? You are not sure. Job's, Job, Job 14, 7 to 9, Job 14, makes it more credible. Job 14, 7 to 9. For there's hope of a tree. A tree can be cut down. Everything about you may be dry. So that the tender branches will not cease. Though the root is old in the earth, the root, there's still a root, oh, is deep oh, in the earth and the stalk is dead in the ground yet through the scent of water just the water the holy spirit as you are keeping the hope alive just your hope alone your faith is will board and to spring back to life so keep your expectation alive amen keep your joy alive Keep your hope alive. See the way God says he's going to do it. And you shall testify and I shall testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. Living expectations. And if we do that, we'll be able to give thanks more often than before. Keep your expectations alive. Tune to the frequency or the network of, what's the name of the frequency now? Good news or good expectations. Thank you. That's what Caleb did. When the children of Israel were sent out to, to spy the land, they were sent out by Moses. 
They came back with bad news. He said, they said, we saw giants, sons of Anak. Even in our own eyes, they even knew, I don't know how they knew, in our own eyes. <laughs> and the eyes of those people were like grasshoppers. But verse 30 said, Caleb steal the people. He said, shut up. She said, shut up. We are more than able. More than able to receive the promise God has given us. Someone say, I'm more than able. God is more than able to change my story positively. I'm more than able to receive the good news starting from now in the name of Jesus. The children of Israel were expecting defeat. They're expecting the usual except Caleb. And therefore they didn't make it to the promised land. Keep your expectations alive. Hmm. There's so many stories. So many stories. So many, even the Bible, and we know them. Remember the wife of IPICP? I think hers was about 18 years or so, yes? After marriage, no child. And then when the children came, when the pregnancy came, twins. I think it was 12 years. 18 months after, pregnancy became children again. Another set of twins. So four, like that. Remember, just imagine how long it will take a woman to have four children, one, one by one, one, one by one. And it can't be every 12 months. So. But when God did it, he collapsed everything, put them together. Pume like that. Living expectation. Blind Bartimaeus, Mark 10. We know the story. He wanted his sight. He wanted his sight. He did not prevaricate. He did not think eh, when Jesus asked him, what do you want? He did not say, I want a new set of clothes. He knew that once he had one thing, that one thing, everything would fall into place. He said, my sight. And from there, he had new garments. He threw away the old garment. His occupation changed. Ah, this world. The same people who were telling him, we don't know, Jesus also need your type of, keep quiet, move to the side. They're the ones saying, come, come, come. People that rejected you. People that looked at you in their hearts with disdain, thinking that you belong to another class. They are the ones who will come and say, Sir, Ma, before you in the name of Jesus. Because they'll, they'll have no choice. So they'll have no choice. They'll come and call you mommy and daddy. They'll come and ask your advice in the name of Jesus Christ. They're the ones who say, Master is calling you. Before they were saying, Master, he doesn't need such people around you. Keep quiet. They change just like that. They were the ones that give him words of encouragement. Come, come. Don't go far. Come. They are the ones pushing him closer instead of pushing him away. They gave me a new status. Praise the name of the Lord. Keep your expectations alive. As I was writing this, I remembered a, a friend of mine. She was one of my, as you call me, redeemed, spiritual children. She was in the former church. She lives in England now with her children. But I remember years ago when I traveled, I stayed with her in her rented apartment. I remember 94. Fola. I remember three stories. She was on the top floor. She was a tenant. Then the landlord came, a lady, and said, I need my house. Gave her six months. No, I didn't stay with her that time. I had stayed with her before. She wanted, she gave a quick notice. She said, where will I, where will I go? <sighs> I mean, that, the rent was okay. Where, where will she start from? And when she called me, I was in England then. Pastor, what will I do everything? To cut it short, he forced her to go and borrow, to go and get a mortgage. No, in England, you get mortgage. You pay small, small, small by small. That's how 
she was forced to go and get a mortgage to get her own, not a flat this time, a house. A house she got on faith. She didn't even need have the money to pay the deposit. But somehow she borrowed, she got from this flock of person. As soon as she got the mortgage, the landlady came back and said, I changed my mind. I'm now traveling to Australia. Australia, a white woman. But it was too late. She had pushed her tenant to take a step to put her on the property ladder. That's what put her on the property ladder. The way God is going to treat your case will surprise you. It shall be beyond expectation. If you're expecting to have a house, so some of us believe that you can you only be tenants for life. If your expectation is you must have your own property. Some of us believe, believe that your property must be in your village. Uh-huh. God will meet you too. It depends on your expectation. God will do beyond. But change that expectation, please. That's what put on the property ladder. And that area, a very choice area. It seems so cheap now. Because in those days it was it wasn't, but now, you know. I mean, she wanted to resell it now. She'll get so much money. It seems so ex it's so expensive now. That's what I meant. But see the way God pushed her by force to go on the property ladder ladder. Hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. It's comfortable to be a tenant in a big house, but there's still something better. Do you agree? And God will not make it hard. God's ways are not grievous. Who is a small bang bungalow? God will start with a small. He will breathe on it. Amen. Keep your hope alive. Keep your expectations alive. Then hand it over to God. What did you expect? Hand it over to God. Let God breathe upon your expectation. Don't cut corners. Don't go and start borrowing money cannot repay. Don't go and do, um, what do you call it? Contribution. And they say it's good, though, but I've not done it before. Then when it's your turn to repay, you can't repay. They then will be accusing. What do you call it now? Ajo. What do you call it in English? Eh? Uh, what do you call it? Thrift. Okay, thrift. Where you gather money together. And then when it's your turn, they give you, I don't know, you know, we, whatever it is, yeah, you know what I mean. I think it's Nigeria. It's our own kind of um, financial institution in Nigeria. I'm not saying it's bad, though, but I've not done it before. But I hope you get into a problem. When's their turn now? Some are not able to deliver. Hand it over. Let God breathe on it. What God breathes on multiplies. The two fishes and how many loaves multiplied in the hands of God. Therefore, don't stop sowing. Don't stop sowing. Don't look at somebody, yeah, this one doesn't need money. This one, that is not your problem. So the house of God, look at what is happening now. There's so much work going on. I don't know how to do fundraising because people will not, my experience, people don't use, God doesn't use the multitude. He'll put the body in the heart of somebody. Person may not have, but by giving the person now, starts to have, have, have a, you can't put in the hands of God. And God will not multiply. It's not possible. So keep on sowing. The more you sow, the more God will multiply it. You will not be a beggar. Every garment of begging, every garment of begging, I'm praying for myself. Every garment of begging and borrowing in my life, I curse it. In your life, I curse it in Jesus' name. Begging and borrowing. Begging and borrowing, begging and borrowing, begging and borrowing, begging and borrowing is a curse in my life. And I curse it in the name of Jesus, from the root in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall be a, big, a, a lender. We shall be lenders. That's the word of God. Amen. Let God breathe on it. Keeping expectation alive. Look unto Jesus. At get beautiful in Acts 3, 1 to 8. Peter said to the lame man, Peter and John, they told the lame man, he, who was used to looking out for money, he was out for money, money. If he saw people coming, his eyes were on money, 
from the, looking at their hands. But one day, he met with the apostles. Paul said, look upon us. See Jesus in our eyes. Don't look at what we have to give this guy. Look up on us and get more than what you expect. And that changed the story. The man that had been locked out, had locked out, entered the temple. Every lockout concerning you. I don't know where the padlock is from. Oh. The padlock nobody can see. But has become a lockout. When it's about to be my turn, your turn, there'll be a story. That thing ends today in the name of Jesus. From this altar, from this house of God. When the next step is about to come, there'll be one story. It will be like going back, retrogression. A story of not moving forward. It is ended now in Jesus' name. That lady says she became a director. They created a position for her that's not existing before. A position that God created. God shall do it for you and for me and for you. A new position in your business, even in the house of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. Okay, so let's just round up so you can pray. Living expectation. Because an expectation can die. The expectation of the wicked shall perish. That's the word of God. The expectation of the wicked. Wicked thoughts about you. People look at you, they just don't like you. Why? I just don't like that person. I don't like that. Just, there's something about him. The expression shall perish in Jesus' name. What do I do now? Father. You see, Proverbs 10 28. Proverbs 10 28. Proverbs 10 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness. Why don't you shout a big hallelujah to show you are glad? To show that you are receiving something today, shout hallelujah. To so show you are carrying joy into your house, shout hallelujah. To show that sorrow becomes a stranger in my house from now, shout hallelujah. To declare no more abortion, no more abortion. Abortion physically, mentally, emotionally, no more abortion in our lives, no more pain, no more sorrow. Why don't you shout hallelujah? Amen. Please be seated. Proverbs 10 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness. Proverbs 10 28. Proverbs 10 20. Proverbs 10 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. That's the word of God. It's forever settled in heaven. We don't need to talk about it again. It shall perish in the name of Jesus Christ. So be on the side of the righteous. Just surrender to Jesus. That's what it means. Then everything will work out as the righteous. You start to hear God. God will start to lead you to be taking the right steps. You declare for Jesus. I abandon my old ways. The whole righteous shall be glad. But the expectation of the wicked shall perish. And I like the New Living Translation, the NLT. The NLT. The hopes of the godly shall result in happiness. But the expectations of the wicked come to nothing. Somebody say nothing. Nothing. As a burnt out mountain. Say nothing. Just as you see a mountain and it's burnt and it becomes nothing. Say nothing. The expectations, say the expectations of the wicked shall come to nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. So living expectations. And the good news even more is that God is able to do much more than your expectations. Much more according to the power of the Holy Spirit that gives you faith, that gives you joy, that turns around everything. God is more than able to do that, which concerns you and concerns all of us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Therefore, get rid of the John 5 syndrome. The man in John chapter 5, that man who had been by the book of Bethesda for how many years? 38 years. Jesus came. Good news came. And Jesus said, I've got good news for you. And he was thinking of irrelevant things. I don't understand the story of that man. No. I can't understand that kind of man. No. Eh? I don't know where his people were. He didn't think of, okay, let me move. He knew that the angel was coming every year. 
And he knew the time. I would have thought that he'll move a bit today. Tomorrow a bit. Next week a bit. So I'd be close to the water. He sat on the same spot. All he was doing was complaining, grumbling, excuses. He was always late. Late. Blessings were already... The blessing himself appeared. Jesus, he had an excuse. Maybe he overslept. I didn't have my bath early. No more excuses. Oh, don't let Satan be giving excuses in coming to church. There's always an Look, excuses are 10 to the dozen. 10 to the dozen. You can find them easily. And uh, I, I just, I don't even know why, but it just happened like that. But you don't miss your plane, no. If you miss your plane, you pay for it for, for not showing up. No show. You forfeit your ticket. You pay millions again. But just walk in the house of God casually. It cannot be the same. With those who come early, who are expectant, and those who stroll in with the excuses. It can't be, I'm not God, though. But I don't think that's how it works. He gave excuses, and there's some people, nobody to help me. And when they come, another person goes behind before me. He was even blaming people. Abba, he was blaming people. Everybody was wrong. He was the only one that was right. Don't be like that John 5 man to keep your expectations alive. Otherwise, excuses will multiply. You have more excuses. You become PhD in excuses. God forbid it in Jesus' name. Number two, expect that increase of expectation. Like the case of Job. No job. God gave him double, double what he had before. Even the children. Number three, set your faith as a flint. As a flint. Be determined as a soldier of the cross. This world is for soldiers. You must be determined. And moving forward. Isaiah 57. Isaiah 50 verse 7. Mm. For the Lord will help me. Somebody say, the Lord will help me. Therefore, I shall not be confounded. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. Say it again. For the Lord will help me. Therefore, I shall not be confounded. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, a hard stone, and I know I shall not be ashamed. In the name of Jesus. And then finally, let the Holy Spirit breathe upon your expectations. The Holy Spirit, our helper. Pray in the Holy Ghost all the time. Pray in the Holy Spirit. And God will do even beyond your expectations. Let's rise, please. If you are here this morning, you want to give your life to Jesus, I'd like to pray with you. Wherever you may be seated at the back, just lift up that hand and I'll pray with you. I'll pray with you so I can surrender your life to Jesus totally, your pains, your anxiety, whatever it is you want to give to Jesus. Today is the appointed time. Those expectations that the enemy wants to cut short, even your life, in the hands of Jesus, it cannot be possible. So if you are here this morning or there's an addiction, there's a struggle you are going through and you cannot handle it yourself, all I want to do is lift up both hands down to Jesus and ask, Jesus, help me. Jesus, come to my life. As you lift up that hand, the ushers will give you a card. That card is to say, I want to start afresh. The rest of us, I want us to pray. If you can, pray in the Holy Spirit. And if you cannot, just follow us. If you want to give your life to Jesus, both hands should be up so that the ushers will see the hands and they'll give you a card. And that card will say to the Lord, this one is coming to today for a new beginning, a new thing. He wants Jesus to help him. The rest of us, let's pray. And I pray as Lord Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, I come this day by the blood of Jesus and I ask that by your mercy, you breathe upon my expectations and then tell God your expectations and you decree with your mouth this equation shall not be cut short it shall come to life breathe upon it oh Lord Jesus breathe upon it multiply it bring it to reality do more that I can, I can ever think pray in the Holy Ghost 
do more that can I pray for, even in my understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost language. Take over and hand over to you. Surrender to him now. Take over that expectation. Take over in the name of Jesus. Let it become a testimony. Let it become a testimony, irreversible testimony. In the name of Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost language. La Pranda. We want to pray for a while. We want to pray for a while. We're not just praying. For praise, we want to pray to achieve a result, a purpose, that expectation to make sure it is well grounded. It is watered by the Holy Spirit. Ah, balakos kanta rianda ya. And if you don't give your life to Jesus, you just come to the altar. Not just give your, not just lift up your hand, but just come to the altar. Le branda rakasoto rianda ya ya. Inkandere moko soto. This time to pray the Holy Ghost and you pray right now. Consent that expectation. La gande reke. Keep it alive by prayer. Ma gode gede rege banda karianda raga brako sontoria. Masi kanta kande gede gede gede. You are welcome, my brother. Just come quickly to the altar. Kale mande gede. Encourage him to come to the altar. Just come as you come. Just start to ask God to have mercy on you. Kale banda gade gede gede. Ah raga brako skontorianda ya. Inkanto koriande gede gede senta riaka. Jika koskontoria. Karede ji. Jesus, Master, Makale Kente Kerianda, yeah. Ah, my hope is in you, Kalemada. My hope will not die. Malakada, breathe upon me, breathe afresh, breathe upon that child, the destiny. Kalaponto Koriande, Gere, Inganda Karia, De Regenda, Reke Sotoria, Mashkanta Karia, Lepanto Korianda, Garia, every strength in my stem, my body. Malakade, Gere, 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 Anda Gare, Gere, 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 Every ailment, every sickness, every affliction, karenda raga brakos contoria in the gere gere not be tired of life and the gere 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 no more suicidal tendencies no 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 more flow of polluted water kalene we break right now we break the seal of death we break the seal of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus kale branda koskenta rianda ya inga gere 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 eh inga gere 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 pain in the house pain in the house pain in the marriage Pain, pain in the family. God, run dereke soto shema ripo kalebra labor loss. Man karian dereke soko rianda the curse, the curse, the curse from behind, the curse from the mother's house, from the father's house, from the lost house, from the words I spoke before. Ha, dereke 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 dereke. The cycle of sudden death, the cycle of sudden death, affliction, daga death in the family. Ah, death in the church. Karemo koskonto ria. Kale banda ganda ganda gerege surgery. Makorian derege zegele shame. Reproach. Begging. Begging. Begging and borrowing. Karan derege so korianda. Le bande gerege the spirit of prostitution. Inability to keep a home, to keep a marriage. Ah, delay, delay. Karamba koskanta ria. Je korianda gerege gerege gerege. La branda rakas contoria. Ah, gerege gerege gerege. The serpentine spirit, spirit of the serpent, spirit of the serpent, mande keria kasukanta ria, leganda ganda gariande gere gere gere, yegende gere 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 gere, eh, gere 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 gere, the spirit of curses following instead of goodness and mercy, karamokos kente ria, serial death, karende ge freak accident, strange accidents, inda karia koriande ge ze elika skonto ria. Maganda ganetic negative expectations. Ah, baba 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 kaze gere 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 gere. Strange blood flow. Ah, shedding of blood in the family. Karande reke so contoria. Ah, gara 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 gambling betting wastage. Kalemo koshka brande in karriera impotence. Ah. Barrenness, Kande Brakos Kantaria, Jekaria Korende Kelida Raga Sontori, every disorder, speech disorder, hearing disorder, hearing disorder, ah, heart disorder, heart disorder, ah, mental disorder, Karende Keria Karaka Sotoria, Maskanda Riande Gere, La Brandereke Sukanda, ye, 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 Inga Ze Ele Moshka Branda Kaskenteria. Kala kontoria makade keria kade kere kere la prokos kenta le branas kontoria ah kaka every Goliath every Goliath in front every Pharaoh from behind kalibra kos kenta ria kashkanda kere kere the horsemen of destruction galloping from behind kala kariandere ke so 
Korianda, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, the agreement, the agreement with kingdom of death. Akalebra koskenteria, shakoria negelindereke sontoria, alcoholism, makonde keria, that addiction, de keria ndereke suka, la papa, pa, garment of shame and reproach. Ile baba baba baba, yegere gere 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 gere, ala kandereke sontoria, ah, gare gere 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 gere, le mande gere gere senteria manda, that indebted, indebtedness, ah, indebtedness, indebtedness, owing people all over the the place ah la pando corianda cariande le pranda reggae sukanda riande gere la proho sukanda ria naze inashkanda ria le ganda cariande gere 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 virus of cancer calebra of affliction calebra center of variants of 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 covid ah calibra coskente rianda ya ye 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 makoria la ganda galida raka sokoria la Branke Senkeria, we plead the blood of Jesus for a flushing right now. Let's have to plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus along with me right now for a cleansing, a cleansing, for a thorough cleansing of hidden things in our lives. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is absolute, it's more powerful than any other power, than any virus, than every sickness. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers Satan, that blood is still flowing right now. The blood that conquers Satan, the blood that cannot be conquered, the blood that witches cannot drink. Ah, the blood, the blood that has no limits. The blood of Jesus, the blood that opens every gate, every shackle, every bondage that breaks the chain. The chains are broken. The chains are melted by the power and the blood of Jesus. Hey, the blood that cleanses the heart right now of negative thoughts, strange thoughts, strange habits. That breaks the chains. Oh, perpetual single root. Ah, calebro coscontoria. Manda gariande ke sekentaria. Cariande ke zele broko shkanda gande ke 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 ke. Ah, cariande roko sontoria. Manta karia, kale korianda kariande gere gere gere, e gere 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 gere, ingara gara 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 bandro kusotoria, makale ke soto, makoria, kala brane, zala koskanderia, la brane hende ye, ingara the blood of just a six of mercy. The blood that speaks of mercy right now. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus that delivers, that brings deliverance. Ele brakas kontore. Brethren, plead the blood right now. Somebody needs the blood right now. Somebody that's not here. Ah, that must be cleansed. That must be delivered by the blood. The blood just we plead that blood over that person. Whoever that person may be right now, we soak that person with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the person that is far, that is near. Ah, we feel the blood of Jesus run about him, run about her. In the name of Jesus, the blood that delivers, the blood, the blood, the blood that brings help and salvation. We feel the blood of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus, I lebra coskentaria, la braneke sontoria, mande gere gere gere, ere gere 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 bande gere mo, rabra coskent. Ria mala coriandere mo ra brandere ke sika le bandaya la breke sentaria la bande gere 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 in the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank for the blood that was shed on Calvary. Thank for the confidence of the blood of Jesus. Ah, the blood that was shed from all the sides of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. The blood ah that went to hell and conquered Satan. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want us to plead the blood of Jesus. I want us to plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus.
Thank you for the power and the blood of Jesus. The blood that can cast Satan. The blood that can never coagulate. The blood that can never clot. Is that blood replete right now as your people, as your church, as your church right now? We plead the blood of Jesus over each one of us, over our homes, over our general overseer, over Nigeria, over everybody precious to us, over that person. That person, those people right now that need the blood as a covering to deliver them. Father, let the blood flow over such people right now, where they may be, in the name of Jesus. Father, we plead that blood, the blood that conquers Satan, the blood that's opening the doors that have been sealed, the blood that, that, pleads the, that, that brings deliverance right now from captivity of darkness. We plead that blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood over everybody here, over every loved one of us, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the expectations of your children. Each one of us, oh Lord, can never be cut off. Thank God you are the one that's able, more than able, to do exceeding abundantly. Above us, we ask our thing. According to the power of the Holy Ghost that walks at, uh, in us. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Our hopes, our expectations are kept alive. As soldiers of the, uh, of the cross, we are alive. We shall not die in the battlefield. We receive that healing. We receive deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. Thank for hope rekindled, life rekindled. No more death, no more serial death, no more death. The spirit of death circulating in our midst. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's give him praise. Just clap for Jesus. Sir, look at you. Say this prayer after me. Say, can you hear me? You want to give your life to Jesus? Let's pray for our brother who's giving life to Jesus now. Say after me. Let the enemy hear. Let people of God here. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. I declare I'm not ashamed. I'm a sinner, but I need help. I need help. A sinner cannot help himself. A sinner cannot, a sinner, are you Yoruba man? Elisha, you can hear me. A sinner cannot help himself, but I need help. That's why I come to you today. I surrender my life to you. Save me. Heal me. Deliver me from kingdom of hell. From everything in my life that will not allow me to see Jesus. I use my mouth and I declare, Lord Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. Every bad thing, everything that's not of Jesus that I have done before, I erase them. I erase them. I wipe them away with the blood of Jesus. I'm a child of God. Remove my name from the book of hell. I will not die. I will not go to hell. I will, I will not go to hell. I will reign with Jesus from now. Thank you, Lord. I'm born again. All things have passed away. In Jesus' name. Let's pray for our brother right now. Say that he will not miss heaven. He will grow as a soldier in the army of Christ. All shall be well with him. His hope shall not be cut off. Pray now. Pray. Pray. The seed you sow will come back as a harvest for you. So pray that all shall be well with him. And so shall be. He shall be a soldier, mighty soldier in the army of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will not go to hell. And he shall be an instrument even for his family and beyond his family. And so shall he be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please go with our brother. Let's clap for Jesus. He is able more.